So next match in losers, MJS Haitani, Japan, Justin Wong from EG, from the US. One of the most storied fighting game players. Actually, these two are among the most storied fighting game players <laughs> yes. in history. Yes. And of course, uh, both of these, like I said, this is a run back from final round, very close match. In fact, uh, I think it went down to last game, last round, that final round. It was very and, close. Uh, Could have gone either way. And I asked Justin about that. He said it was really close. He studied a little bit, played against Eduardo, who, you know, PR Rog, who plays Nikali. He said a couple hundred games. <laughs> and so he really put in a lot of time. And I remember. His, his, uh, his thought was that he should go a little bit more offensive. Yeah, no, I was actually very close to PR Balrog while they played each other in, uh, while I should say Justin and Itani played each other. And uh, Eduardo was just like, go in, be more offensive, disrespect him. Okay, well, we'll see if that works. Just okay, that okay. was definitely a little trick. Yeah, early trick to establish. Yeah, right, as an opening move rather than something to save for later. Interesting. Typically, people save their tricks until a little bit later on, unless they're trying to set something up. Could have even just been an execution error on his part that he converted into the throw. You're right. <laughs> oh, chasing down the back dash with that V skill. I think you can really see that more offensive yeah. play. Justin immediately tried to walk Haitani yeah, into the corner. Yeah, look at this. Disrespecting him as much as possible. Hitting those buttons. Wow. I mean, Justin's keeping a great range while doing this stuff. Oh, wake up, jab. We have seen that from Haitani time and time again. Oh, Justin hit Roundhouse. So that's going to give Haitani a big chance. Lots of damage using the EX meter. Justin. Oh, beautiful getting right under that dive kick. Punishing on the other side. But you can see how dangerous Nikali is from Haitani. That one wake-up jab set up a ton of damage into another mix-up into a ton of damage. That can happen at any time. It is a three-frame standing jab, so you really got to make sure your meaties are on point. That's the lesson that we've seen so far between a lot of these matches. Dash from Nikali so fast. Yeah, I wonder if Itani's trying to counter adapt by trying to play a little bit more up. He's jumping in a little bit more. He did it at the start of the round as well. Ah, yes. Ooh, yep, there it is. Got in. So he's definitely trying to move forward more. Rather yeah. than him getting caged, that's really the opposite. Countering aggression with his own aggression. Just got to get away or find something like this. That's, that's right. good too. The stun is going down. Saved his bar. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't want to spend it just yet until he thinks it's going to kill. Oh, get back out there. Ooh. Nice. Like the air to air. Yeah. That's a smart counter. Oh, man. Itani's ready to go, though. Gets the hit. Gets the hit on the other side. Is he going to go super? Yes. And this super always does so much damage. It's like the new Evil Ryu <laughs> Ultra. You're right. And there it is. A room full of grown men. <laughs> well, that plan worked. Yeah, it definitely worked. He got Haitani in the corner a couple of times. And when he did, it paid off. All right. Good neutral jump. That's the weakness of that uh, V skill moves of Karen forward. All right. So if you neutral jump, you definitely punish it. Here comes Haitani. Crush counter, that's gonna stun. Wow, he might kill right here. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a perfect round. Oh, he saved the bar! Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, yeah. There, there's actually a mix up there between the low short or the jump back jab mm -hmm. overhead. Right. overhead. Fuzzy guard. Ooh, a little too far to punish. Good distancing from Justin. Okay, he's gonna spend the meter to keep him out of the air. Because as you mentioned, Haitani is getting a lot of play by getting by jumping in on Justin. Yes. Oh, nice facing. Yeah, I like Haitani taking control. Ooh, crush counter. Yep. Be skilled. Best you can get at that range. But it gets to the knockdown and builds up the V skill as well, which is very important for Karen. Uh, the V trigger, I should say. Oh, okay. And I like it. Justin says, you activated your V trigger. I don't care. I'm still going in. Well, it's like you said, that disrespecting... Worked. Just looking very strong. Well, I think he's doing it at great ranges. I, it's, they're not not—they're not terribly risky spots. He's just moving forward rather than playing the defensive game that he typically does. Nice little whiff punish there. And you can see consistently trying to move forward. Haitani, I think, does want to counter. You see him dashing up. You see him kind of jump sometimes. 
but on the whole, in the set, Justin's been able to execute his game plan. Mm. He's standing around us and he's gonna go right into the super. He wants to take a big lead in this round, but the problem is it's really mentally not that big of a lead because Justin is sitting on a full bar too, and any hit of his can, will just catch him up right away. You're right. Ooh, okay. Oh, get some with the cross up into the command throw. Itani looking strong this round. He just doesn't want to get. Oh, oh, Justin went in. Okay. Oh, he's gonna save the super. Goes for the throw. Nice jab, anti air. Will oh. Nikali press the button? Will Itani press the button? Oh. You see him just jumping away. I don't think that was even the OS. He just was jumping away. Oh, gets okay. in there with the jab. Locked down into the command throw. Smart stuff from Itani. He's gonna take game two. Yeah, Justin definitely held on to that super. He wanted to find the moment that it would kill. So that way he could also keep the meter just in case he wanted to use it for anti-airs. Justin walking. Yeah, right now the key to this matchup, I feel like, is Haitani's jump timing. So that's why you see Justin sitting there, neutral jumping, trying to air to air with the jumping forward kick. And you see it when you're sitting there waiting for the jump. That's when Haitani can get the dash forward and the jab. So Haitani doing a good job switching between those two yeah, options. Nic Nicali has such great jump buttons and such good dash speed. They're both legit threats. Mm -hmm. I think Justin has sensed it too. So he's really trying to watch out for the jumps and the dashes at the same time. But that's just so hard to do to keep track of both of them and be able to react to both. Crush counter sweep. Oh, the jab. A lot of damage into mix up. Ooh. Ooh! Didn't get it. Justin with a little punish there. Yeah. No, no V reversal for Nikali. So, oh! oh! Gets away! Ooh! No EX uppercut anti air from Justin. Now just one little bit away. Oh, he thought about the whip punish but decided not to take the risk. You just don't know when Nikali's gonna dash up to you. One dash and he's right in his opponent's oh face. Oh my! Oh! Like I said! You just don't know when it's coming! He can control space. And Haitani is content just to build up some chip damage. Oh, but the Seismo! That two-thirds screen in front of him is implied as his part mm -hmm. of the screen. Right, so Justin just staying away. Playing patiently, eight seconds! Oh, the big risk! And Justin didn't take the bait! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is defense. That is defense right there. Because command throw would have been such a... Like, it was a, one a, of those two. Yeah, that was, was, was it. And, and then most people in that situation would have went to command throw, which is why Haitani went for, instead, the uppercut. Tried to whip punish that a couple of times. No dice yet. Okay, you can really see the difference between regular Nikali dash and V-Trigger dash. Gigantic. Yeah, it's, it's mostly the same length. It's distance is one of the scariest parts of that. Ooh, not, not close enough to punish on that neutral jump. Haitani now trying to figure out a way to get in. Great. Oh, great block on the overhead. A little too far. Oh, Justin's going to go for it. He's going to try to put Haitani in that desperation mode right away. So here we go. Activation. Oh, oh beautiful. He came in. Will he try to play more actively? Oh, walks up, gets the throw. Not quite enough to kill. This could still happen for Haitani. Oh, this is still big. The damage output for Nikali is ridiculous, but a walk up. Low short from Justin. Interesting. And Justin's going to go up 2 to 1, as I mentioned at final round last week. Came down to the final game, final round, very, very close. But Haitani with a dominant final, like, third round in that matchup. Justin seeking revenge. Two Japanese players left here in top eight. Haitani is one of them. Going in. As we said, that's one of the, it seems like the, the game plan for Justin is definitely to be more aggressive. Yeah. There's that mix up. You can choose the lane that, which you want to dash forward into B skill, yeah. Build some B meter there too. Ooh. Again, he will do so. King. That's that stand jab. Nice. Justin hadn't done that all day. No wake up EX for Senhas, and there it was at the crucial moment. Match point. Trying to move forward again, it's Justin. 
with the whiff punish. It's working. Ooh, that's Hitani, the jet. Maybe trying to fix things up a little bit. Okay, you know what? That trade is perfect. For Hitani, I uh, take off some meter from her. He still has a lot on deck. Not cool. too far to punish. He's tried that three times and it hasn't worked. Okay, gets the cross up in there. Ooh, raw stop. Dash up jab. Yep, that's the scary one. There's the super. All right. Gonna get a good amount of damage here. Keep Karen in the corner. That's the important part. Nice neutral jump from Justin, but a little too far for Cross Strong. Stand strong to connect. Oh, he gets Justin. the crush jump. He'll have super as well if he wants to spend it. Will he do so? Oh! No. Instead, he went for a mix-up, it looks like. Maybe he didn't think it was going to kill. Nikali still with V-Trigger of his own. No activation from Itani. Yeah, there I was about to say. I was wondering if he was trying to save the reversal, but maybe not. He's in there now. Justin. And now we have one of the situations with Justin with a very slight life lead. And he waited it out before, but he had more life. Well, he's already shown, and we've seen over the many years that he is willing to just wait it out. 14 seconds. Itani might need to try to make something seconds. happen. Yep, 10. We're down to single digits. Justin on the verge of taking this against Itani. He's just trying to chip him He's out. He's just waiting it out. Will he work? Oh, he, he got him with it. it. He didn't get it. Hitani found the hit. <laughs> oh, perfect distance. Just going, dashing in. Getting Justin out of the air. So Hitani's still in it. Still alive. Oh, God, stand strong. Good priority. Oh, he tried to go for the throw, but the neutral jump. Crush counter roundhouse. Almost oh, done. We might be seeing a swing here, James. Yeah. There it is! Haitani, no meter, however, but it's still going to be able to kill, and there it is! Haitani with a dominating third round to send it to two and two. Justin, a, little, a slight look of frustration on his face right now. So it's 2-2. Two -two. Remember the last time they played, it went down to the very final round. Mm -hmm. It was close, could have gone either way. And it looks like it's doing that again. Yeah. Justin with a whip couple punish, of important yeah. whiff punishes. And moving his opponent towards the corner. This is exactly what he wants to have happen. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to go back to like, like wait a minute, what did I do to win the first game? Yeah, right, right. I need to come back to this. And there it is, you see the aggression now. Even waking up with buttons. Harassing the orange is there, and now he's got the stun. He's going to take the round. So dominating round from him, just as we saw the previous one from Itani. Right, and the important thing is very little meter spent from Justin. So he has all this resource still left. In fact, he has more resources than Itani. Itani uh, needs a big recovery, and it looks like he might be getting it. He's already got the corner, trying to harass with buttons. Justin already down about a third life. He hasn't been able to whiff punish that, so he just jumps in. There it is again, the jump attacks from Itani. Oh, are we going down to the final round? After all, that's minus four, we're a little bit too far away. Right. Nice. Catches him with that stand right now. It's Haitani trying to get it back into the jump. Nice neutral jump. Getting some play, wow. but then... Justin with the sweep. He has a little bit more trigger. Good Not block. much. No, it's gone. On the B-Rose will whip punish. Yeah, I really like that escape from Haitani. Yeah. He's down to the wire right now. He has super. Justin has super. Next thing can take it either way. Again, B-Reversal. So he's not going to have any B-Triggers for this round. They both, Justin, they both want their oh, whole medium. Oh, one hit. Is that he's got to complete it, James. It's not over. He did it super. He and did it super, but it didn't bite him. It didn't bite him, and he comes back and wins it anyway. I don't think Justin is very happy about how that final second worked out, but at least he got the win, and he got retribution from last weekend. So his change of style, in fact, really did help. And you yeah. saw Haitani trying to counter it with his own dashes toward, his own jumps, his own movement. Right. But uh, in the end, Justin took it this I mean, time. Is there a danger that Karen Super might travel under in the corner? I don't think so. Uh, not that I'm aware of, but uh, Justin went for the anti-air. Maybe he was like, I don't want to drop the Super. Let's just do the easy version. Hope it was going to kill. It didn't kill, but like I said, didn't come back to bite him. <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, it was very oh, lucky. Yeah. That was a chance for Haitani, but unfortunately, Haitani had panicked and uh, mm -hmm. went for the uppercut instead. Yep.